Do you want to make an awesome pallet trailer? This is an easy to make project using an old pallet as the basis for a pull cart or a trailer that can easily handle around a thousand pounds, no problem. Best of all, you can make it any size you want and when you're done, you can just toss the pallet and reuse the tires and other parts on another pallet or just keep a few pre-drilled pallets of different sizes around for different needs. You'll need a pallet that's not too old to make sure it has structural strength. Then in this case, since I already have a full-size pallet cart, I'm making one that's about a third of a size of a pallet. I'm cutting this to make sure I get two strong 2x4s to hold the axles for the tires. And I'm using some old 5 8 inch bolts and nuts that I had around to serve as the axles. You don't really need to have an axle all the way across, depending on how strong you need this to be. You can get some 10 inch tires with bearings at a place like Harbor Freight, or you can order them and with some coupons or sales, or maybe on Craigslist, you can find them for like seven or eight bucks at the moment. After drilling four holes, just big enough to squeeze these bolts through there, you can put on washers and nuts on each side of the pieces of wood and on the outside of the tires, and it should be good enough to hold it in place. These tires can handle around 300 pounds each, but they do get pretty low to the ground, so you'll need to think about how much clearance you'll need for the sort of ground you'll be on and what kind of weight you'll be handling. And make sure to fill them up with air nice and tight, since heavy weights tend to flatten these sorts of tires pretty quickly. And after testing it inside the house a little bit to make sure it works, I'm taking it outside to finish it up, where I'll tie a strong rope to it that could be used to hand carry things, or use your lawn tractor to tow pretty much anything. Concrete blocks, chicken feed, logs, you name it. And you can nail whatever you need to the pallet to keep your stuff from flying off the sides. Because after all, it's just a pallet. You can always toss it when you're done with it, and store your tires and other parts for the next one. Hope this is useful to some of you. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.